Good morning. I'm Karen Gowdy. And I'm Jay Gowdy. And this is morning prayer for Wednesday, February 3rd. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name will be great among the nations. And in every place, incense will be offered to my name and a pure offering. For my name will be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most most merciful merciful Father, we we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, Open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord has shown forth his glory. O come, let us adore him. O be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures from generation to generation. The Lord has shown forth his glory. O come, let us adore him. Hold not your tongue, O God. Keep not silent. But rouse yourself, O God. For behold, your enemies murmur. And those who hate you have lifted up their head. They have conspired secretly against your people. And taken counsel against your cherished ones. They have said, come and let us wipe them out, that they may be no more a people. And that the name of Israel may be remembered no more. For they have brought their heads together with one consent. And are aligned against you. The tents of the Edomites and the Ishmaelites. The Moabites and Hagarin, Hagarines. Gebal and Ammon and Amalek. The Philistines with those who dwell at Tyre. Assyria also has joined with them. And has helped the children of Lot. But do to them as you did to the Midianites, to to Sisera and to Jabin at the brook of Kishon, who perished at Endor, and became as dung on the earth. Make their princes like Oreb and Zeb. Indeed, make all their princes like Zeba and Zalmunna, who said, let us take for ourselves the pastures of God as our possession. O my God, make them like whirling dust, and like stubble before the wind like the fire that burns up the woods, and like the flame that consumes the mountains. Pursue them even with your tempest, and make them afraid with your storm. Cover their faces with shame, O Lord, that they may seek your name. Let them be disgraced and dismayed evermore and more. Let them be put to shame and perish, and they shall know that you, whose name is the Lord, are alone the Most High over all the earth. Glory Glory be be to to the the Father, and and to the Son, and and to to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Rise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. 
nations will stream to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will be no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John, beginning with the 17th chapter of the first verse. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify you. Since you have given him authority over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. I have manifested your name to the people whom you gave me out of the world. Yours they were, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything that you have given me is from you. For I have given them the words that you gave me, and they have received them, and have come to know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you, Holy Father. Keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given me. I have guarded them, and not one of them has been lost except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake, I consecrate myself, that they, may all, that they also may be sanctified in truth. I do not ask for these only, but also for those who believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, and that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and you in me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you sent me and love them, even as you love me. Father, I desire that they also, whom you have given me, may be with me where I am, to see my glory that you have given me because you love me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, even though the world does not know you, I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, the God, God of Israel, Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now, now and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God and take not your Holy Spirit from us. O God, you know that we are set in the midst of many grave dangers, and because of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant that your strength and protection may support us in all dangers and carry us through every temptation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, amen. amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor run into any danger, and that guided by your spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O most mighty and merciful God, in this time of grievous sickness, we flee to you for comfort. Deliver us, we beseech you, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use for, of for their, for their cure, and grant that, perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.